thought it was a smoothie or a mix of some sort. Uh, just put a bunch of beef in it. <laughs> a beef smoothie. Is that what you're thinking? I can't think of anything more nauseating. Wow. Can you imagine? It went from sad like to gross. Worcestershire on top. Could and, you imagine? Oh. And you drink it? My God. I would throw myself off a building, I think. It's the same as eating raw, drinking raw eggs to me. I don't do that. I yeah. Don't, I don't eat eggs. Jimmy hates eggs. I hate eggs. Is that why you made that face when I said my breakfast Yeah, yeah, an egg sandwich for breakfast, and I just was... You hate eggs? You're allergic to them? I am allergic to them, but I think... I, uh, but I also hate them. I, I do not care for them. And you didn't care for them before they threatened your life. That is either. correct. Okay. Yeah, I never liked them, and they just by luck, I'm allergic to them, so I... I, I think it's the other way around. I think you don't like them because you're allergic to them. That's likely. No, 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 that is not the case. I did not like them. And I lied and said I'm allergic to eggs, so I wouldn't have to eat but them. But you must have, maybe your role was allergic to them, and your body was telling you don't eat these. Yeah, it's a no, biological no. protection. I cannot be more clear. I'm nauseated by the sight of them. It has nothing to do <laughs> but with my body's reaction to them. And yet you have children. But like, yes. But like Zoe, my daughter, is like, she has a rare genetic thing where like she's not supposed to eat too much protein. And um, like we knew this from when she was born. They, you know, they do the screenings, sure. and we found oh, that yeah. out. And so we tracked it. We she had to go to the doctor, uh, get blood tests for the first few years of her life. And at a certain point, the doctor was like, "She's fine. She's totally normal. Just don't. Uh, she should never enter a hot dog eating contest." That was his big joke. Mm. Like she didn't. <laughs> she should be a hot dog. Eating. Good one. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah. So funny. That a boy. Sky. Open uh, mics at the Improv on Mondays, yeah, my man. That's right. Uh, and um, but so she probably doesn't even remember this doctor. That's how long ago the last time we saw him was. But she just doesn't like. Uh, red meat like she's mm. she just doesn't like it yeah and i think i kind of feel like her body knows don't eat that like yeah. it's just not for mm. you and so i i don't know i think if you listen to your body not to get too woo woo about it but um maybe you will i will, say, I will tell you none of that in, in my case no because i grew up in the era where uh, food allergies were not a thing even like you didn't uh, yeah you just ate you ate everything no i know but that yeah. doesn't mean you did you have an, an event with an egg at one point like that you ate it and it went south uh no no, that's what I'm saying. So you've that, never eaten an egg? No, no. I've, I've had <laughs> eggs. I don't like the way they taste. I don't like their texture. And yeah. I, don't like, I don't like the way they look. But did I, they I make am, you I go have, into anaphylactic no, shock? No, I have never had a reaction to them, which is what I'm trying to say here. Right. So you aren't allergic. But I am. Because <laughs> when I just did a thing where we te- we had to test me because of all these health shit I'm going uh-huh. through. Uh Egg is one of the things I am allergic to. And I went, ah, so I am allergic to it. I have not been lying for okay. 50 plus years. One time at the doctor... Uh, uh, when we were there with Kai, he said, everybody's a little lactose intolerant. And I was like, well, God, so none of us should be drinking. No, we shouldn't. After, after Any of that dairy stuff. After you're a child, I believe, once you stop using the bottle, I believe you're supposed to stop drinking dairy. I believe, right? Isn't that the, somebody, I don't somebody know. told I don't me know. that. I mean, it definitely, there's been a huge, like the dairy industry, there was a lot of push to like make yeah. us all think we had to be drinking it every day, which was just It does the body good, my man. That's right. Uh, I think that was a lot of marketing you and not a lot of science. got it? <laughs> I got milk. Oh, right? So does that Michael Jordan. He loves it. I think that was Gatorade. <laughs> did he not do it? Didn't he do it? He probably a, also a did one? one of those probably. ones. But yeah. yeah, I don't know. I know Aaron Burr loved it. That was the one I remember, the ad. Remember Aaron, had, Burr? Aaron Burr? Remember he had the, yeah, it was the real Aaron Burr in the, the commercial. Guy, the guy that punched a purser? <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, that no, was, no, that was no, Hamilton. Hamilton punched a purser, <laughs> right. Burr, the, the famous ad of that series was the a guy's working in a museum and he's listening to the radio and he's eating a peanut butter sandwich. And on the radio, they're like, who shot Alexander Hamilton? Oh. And he's like, it's Aaron Burr, Aaron Burr. And he calls up and he's like, Aaron Burr. And they're like, I'm sorry, we don't understand you. And it's because he doesn't. And he oh, he tries to drink some milk to wash down the sandwich so he can speak. You guys, no, no one remembers this no, ad. I do. I'm just, I'm listening to oh, you okay. uh, describe it for the listener. Oh my god, it's a classic. And then he couldn't say it. He lost the contest because uh, because he couldn't, he didn't have his milk. So that was the the big got milk. But that doesn't mean Aaron Burr liked milk. Well, he wanted the milk. But it wasn't oh, it Aaron wasn't, Burr. <laughs> no, it, Aaron, it, wasn't right? Aaron it was Burr. a museum worker. Yeah, Aaron Burr does not. Aaron Burr has nothing. Okay. He was the I answer was so to a trivia question. I was okay. so confused how Aaron Burr uh, I, yeah, got I, I in on a commercial. I, I think I conflated a okay. few elements of the story. Were yeah. you thinking of Night at the Museum at the same time as this? Uh, <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Well, he's 
the the thing is he's in the museum that has the bullet from the duel and the and the pistol and so he's like mm. if anyone's gonna know it it's oh him. it's the guy that runs the Aaron Burr exhibit yes okay exactly, got it yeah. and apparently that famous glass of milk of his is on <laughs> display as well well I thought I mean maybe my maybe my child brain thought the milk was part of the exhibit <laughs> he's like of course Aaron Burr loves milk no, you're just remember. unpacking this for the first <laughs> yeah, I know. time yeah, so many years so later. many layers to this that's why it was such a classic commercial they really why wasn't this this should have been a whole song in Hamilton. The, uh, well, I agree. Yeah. Lin Manuel really missed he the really boat on the milk it. song. Yeah, I agree. It was the first get mur- get milk com- got milk commercial. Oh, it was. Mm-hmm. It was fr- and apparently, Michael Bay directed it. Oh, wow. Lord. That's a Michael Bay it's production. A Michael Not Bay. a single explosion in that. <laughs> Original. His belly later. Oh yeah, the it. lactose. <laughs> yeah, that's that doctor humor. <laughs> That Where's the Beef commercial has always stuck with me. It sticks with everybody. That Clara Peller. I tried to show it to my kids and they were like, what is this? You know, <laughs> what? I don't understand. Why is this? What is this? Why was it on? And yeah. why did we all? And why, the people bought shirts that said it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Obsessed with it. Yeah. That woman couldn't walk down the street without somebody sure. yelling, where's the beef at her? That would have been a nightmare existence. <laughs> Same as that poor woman that uh, fell and couldn't get up. That poor woman heard that every day Medical. of her life as well. Oh, yeah. 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 Saved a lot of lives, though. She sure did. She's a oh, hero. Both of them. Where's Clara Peller? Hurt some people with all that red meat. Possibly. Yeah. She was old. She I mean, she wasn't saying go crazy with the red meat. She was just saying have a burger. Here, here's a, a fun fact. She was a vegetarian. Is that true? No. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> that does sound like a thing someone... Yeah. Probably uh, after eating <laughs> all those burgers in those commercials. Yeah. I'm sure there were subsequent commercials where she had to eat. I did a commercial called... For craft bagelfuls, yes. Do you know this product? No. So it's like a it's like a freezer product where it's like a a bagel that's shaped like a hot pocket, mm-hmm. and inside is a tube of cream cheese, and then you toast it or you nuke it, mm-hmm. and then you eat it on a bus in this commercial. But I was uh, I was like a passerby, and I and we were filming it on Sixth Avenue in New York, just like on a bus going back and forth and back and forth, and the w- young woman who was the one eating the actual bagel foals. I was like, girl, slow down. <laughs> like, yeah. you need to get a spit bucket in here. You need to do something because otherwise this is not going to end well for you because who knows what's in these. Anyway, that paid my rent for like two years, that <laughs> right. commercial. And it did not end well for her. Oh, she's dead. <laughs> Ultimately. <laughs> she's actually, you know what? She's doing well. She's we know, continued to work in, good commercial, for her. in the commercial it. space. Yes. Now's a woman. Yes. But maybe she's now learned do not swallow every bite because that's too much. Yeah. But uh, I, my line in that commercial was. Um, you, you were a passerby. You were not on the bus. I was on the bus beside oh, oh, her. I see. She's eating the craft bagel full. She's so obsessed with it. But she also has a giant diamond ring on. And I'm a businesswoman. And I see her giant diamond ring and I say, I want what she has. And then <laughs> she thinks I'm talking about the craft bagel fulls. Hilarity ensues. Mm-hmm. So I went into my neighborhood muffin shop in Brooklyn at the time to get my like normal coffee and orange blossom muffin. And uh, the woman just said out of the blue to me, like no context, I want what she has. <laughs> and I was like, I'm so sorry. What's that? And then she then she pointed to the TV and she said, I've seen you Ooh. in the commercial. And I was like, aha. But out of the blue, it was kind of a weird, a weird, yeah. a weird Thing, but it brought us closer. <laughs> uh, you were this lady. Mm-hmm. Good for you. You deserve it. Thank you. Uh, and you never tried the bagel bite or whatever these things were called. You never. My did. parents actually already had them in their freezer. Oh. I think I tried it when I went home later. And not for you. It, yeah. I don't remember this product. It sounds like something I would like. I like a bagel. Yeah, I like. I, I, I like cream cheese. I, like, uh, I do too. Yeah. I had one this morning for breakfast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know, because we have four thousand the leftovers from the party. Yeah. <laughs> To hear the whole conversation, subscribe for free on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts, or visit NeverNotFunny.com.